Leo, Warthog Princess. Welcome to another review and comparison. Today's video is requested by Ronnie Bunny, who wanted to see the Can Can 2 relative to the Scoop, relative to the Ranger, and what can fit in each of them. They are three different sizes, so it's kind of like small, medium, large in this pairing, if you will. Um, although the Ranger and the Scoop are pretty close. close. They're different, they're all different. So. In order to accommodate this request, I pulled out not only the three bags, but a bunch of accessories to see what fits where. So let's take a look. Um, let's start with the Can Can. This is the Can Can 2 in Wildflower Multi. It is a lovely little bag that is crossbody shoulder bag, but also converts to a belt bag if you desire. Externally, you have a pocket on the front. If you take a look, it's just a basic pocket. You have a second pocket, which is a thin front pocket. Oh, open. And inside, there's no organization. It's just a nice pocket, goes all the way down. And then you have your main compartment, which has a cargo pocket in the back, and on the front has a clear plastic pocket. Then on the back, you have one more zipper, and there you go. On the outside, you have a side pocket here that's like a hidden cargo, so it'll snap closed, and then there's your cargo pocket. And since we're here, let's look. Oh, I didn't even know that. So this side, when it's open, Velcros to its cover. I did not know that. Cool, cool. Okay, but here is a Vera Bradley Springtide Navy water bottle. And so we put it inside here. It has a nice elastic. It fits nicely in there. It's, it's a good elastic, it's not super tight, it actually fits really well. And it's not just going to, it'll slide out if you shake it, but it's in there pretty good. Here is another option, you got the 12 ounce Chuggy. And that of course, you know, is going to fit very nicely and matches ever so perfectly right there. And the same thing though, this is slightly, slightly smaller in diameter. So it will come out just a little easier. Like if you hold it upside down, it will just slide out without shaking. That's fine. You're not normally running around with your bag upside down, I hope, anyway. So you close this, snap closure, and bam. So what fits in here? Let's look at what I pulled out. We pulled out a pair of runway envelopes, the regular and the small, and I grabbed just one of the clear view envelopes because two of the sizes are these same two, and then the big one we know is not gonna fit anyway. So I pulled these out just for reference. These do fit, um, well, not all, here we go. The small one fits in the front pocket very nicely. Or, sorry, not the front front, but the second pocket. It doesn't fit in the front pocket, it's too tall. It fits obviously in the main compartment and it's too tall for the rear compartment. You can see the zipper there. This is a little bit bigger. So if you see the comparison here, but this one does fit inside the main compartment. However, it's not a perfect fit. See how the corners just stick out? So if you wanna like bend it just a slight amount, like if it's not super full, you can bend the corners in and it does fit inside. So not optimum, not something I'd really be doing, but you could, and it even almost kind of matches. So it's your botanical. All right, so that's that in the smallest of the bags. Then we also have the round trip. This one is in Dragonfly Purple, and you have little bags inside. So you have this one and then the smallest one. So the big one is too tall. It's the same exact height as the Can Can. So I suppose, if you didn't have the strap in there, I suppose you can put it inside and then zip it. So you can do that, but it takes up two thirds of the bag. You do have enough width there for something, but not much. So to me, that's reserved for a bigger bag. That's just me. The smaller ones, on the other hand, if you put this one vertically, you can put it in that cargo pocket. It takes about two thirds of the width, but you still only two thirds of the height. So you have some room to work around. And the smaller one, Oh wait, before I do that, the small, the medium one, if you put it sideways, can fit in that front pocket. Not standing, because it's too tall. 
course, fits in the second pocket either way. And if you put it laying down, then you could also put the smaller one on top of it. And both of those fit in that front compartment together. So if you like to be organized or have things like grab out to do certain things, you could do that. Um, same thing in the main compartment there, you could do it. In the back compartment, only the smaller one will fit and you can put it either way, standing up or laying down. Optimally laying down fits better. But. So that's the round trip. Let's look at wallets. What wallet will fit in the can-can? Ideally for me, I got the minuet in a matching. So this is my small bag wallet, if you will. It fits perfectly right in that very front pocket easily and closes very nicely. Even if this is stuffed to the brim, it will fit very nicely in there, which is great. I'm trying to see if there's an RFID. I don't see one. No, but of course if it fits in the front, it'll fit in all the other compartments. It will also fit in the back but not as nicely because of the zipper. It's just not quite as wide. So it fits in there, and especially since there's a hood, and you can zip it, but to me, I don't like to have to do that much maneuvering. It's just not quite as nice. I put it in the front. Okay, so minuet, yes. I'll put this back over here. Then we have the Ranger, I mean, not the Ranger, the Rodeo. Um, this one is in bloom black, slightly bigger wallet, and you can remove the wristlet strap, but it will fit in the front but not standing up that way. Well, actually, so I said it won't fit in the very front unless you put it laying down, but it's a little bit tight to fit. It does fit. Again, not someplace I would put it. The second pocket though, you can put it either way, laying down or standing up. And standing up, you still have about an inch left on top and some room on the sides and around it. Fits very nicely there. Obviously fits there. Does not fit inside the back pocket. I suppose, no, you can't even get the hood over it. So that's that's your options. Then we have the splits. So the splits wallet, these are love wallets, of course. That will fit very nicely in the front in size, but it's kind of thick. So that zipper actually doesn't close around it standing up. If you put it laying down, you know, like on the side where the, the binding edge, then it does fit, so. It only fits this way, not this way. Too, too fat, too tall. Then if it fits in the front pocket, it'll fit in there, fit in the main compartment. And let's see, it actually does not fit in the back. It's too fat, just like me, too fat. Okay, then you got your tram wallet. These last two are in Heather Gray. Um, so the tram is too tall for the front front, but here it is in the second pocket fits very nicely in that second pocket right there. And you do have a little bit extra room around it. Obviously if it fits there, it fits in the main compartment. You can put it in the cargo pocket or whatever. And it will not really fit in the back pocket. Next up, we have the Tandem. Now I do have the Splits XL and I forgot to grab it. It's on the table, but it's over there. Um, that's okay. Because if this fits, that will fit. This one is slightly wider and not quite as long, but the Splits XL is about as long as this. So we kind of already know how that's gonna fit in this bag. Um, but there we go. So the Tandem Zip. Got, this is in blue and black again. And let's see. Obviously, it doesn't fit in the very front pocket. Let's see about the second pocket. Mm, it is too tall. Because this pocket isn't wide enough to make up for it so the zipper will not close. If you put it in the main compartment, the zipper has a little more space to it. So if you took, either tucked this or took it off, and let's just take it off for a second. So it does fit in there. You just kind of tuck it under the hood. And then of course that will zip. So you can use the tandem with the can-can. I would say less than optimum, but totally doable. And then last wallet I have here is the Kickflip 3 in Concord. So the Concord, let's see, I think this one's just too big. Let's see. Yeah, it will fit in the main compartment. Same thing though. See how you have to kind of bring that hood up and over in order to be able to zip it. I'm not even gonna try it in the other pockets. And this wristlet strap is not removable. So you do have to account for that as well. 
Okay, so that is the can can. Now let's look at the next bigger one, which would be the scoop. So they they orient this way. The scoop has a top handle, the can can does not. If you orient them size to size, the can can's a, a couple inches shorter in this direction. And if you were to compare depth in that direction, it's about two thirds the size of the scoop. And yeah, so that pretty much covers it. All right, so let's look at the scoop. Bags everywhere. The scoop we've looked very closely at. I'll put a link here where we compared Ranger and Scoop in detail. Um, so we'll kind of go through these a little bit quickly on this part, but we'll do the fit test the same. So you have pocket in the front, pocket in the back. These are very similarly sized pockets. The front one though is fleece lined, which is nice. Um, that could be your dedicated phone pocket or glasses, your choice, or whatever you want to put in there. Your second pocket has no organization, just a nice open pocket. It has its own space as well, so they're not sharing space. The next pocket is your front of the two main compartments. This zips all the way down the sides and has a nice gusseted opening. So if you have this as a crossbody on your hip, you can really get in there and see your built-in wallet. And you got eight card slots, you got the zipper pocket, and then you have two cargo spots behind it. This, this pocket is about half an inch deep, so you got half an inch, half an inch or so. Then your next pocket is your main compartment, your biggest compartment on this bag. There's your strap. And then here you have two cargo pockets and then a clear window. Obviously there's tissue, but that's okay. So this pocket is the bulk of your bag. It's almost two inches deep. And when you look at this expanded versus, wait, see if I can reach, versus this expanded, again, it's still about two thirds the height of here in total. So definitely a bigger bag overall and more pockets, more, more places. So let's look at the round trip. We've got the biggest pocket and that doesn't fit in the front. It does fit perfectly in that second front pocket and it will fit in between everything else because it fits in the small one. Let's see if it fits in the back. If you maneuver it, it can fit inside the pocket, but you can't zip it unless you squash down the round trip. So not up for that. If that fits, the smaller pockets fit, so that's fine. Let's try the second largest clear view. We'll try it in the front big compartment. It does fit inside and it can zip, but it's right up to the edge of the height there. Um, so that's it, which means it won't fit in that pocket. It does fit in the main pocket because you have that extra hood there. If it's very, very nicely right inside without squashing it at all. And so if that fits, these will fit. But let's see if the small one fits in the back pocket. It does, but it's right at the zipper. Again, it's too tall. And if you turn it this way, it would be worse. So that does not work, but it will fit in other compartments. This one will fit in that second front pocket. So not in the small one, but it does fit in the second. Wallet wise, let's go big to small this time. Big wallet, well you could, one, you could use this as a built-in wallet, which you cannot do with the can-can, really. Um, the kick flip does fit in that front pocket there. Um, then you, of course, if it fits there, it fits in the other main compartments. It will not fit in the back pocket. So not in the small pockets, but everything else. And if that fits, probably this fits as well. And it does. So everything except the very front and very back pocket. And if the two big ones fit, then everything else fits as well. Um, and just the next size down is the tram. The tram does fit in that back pocket and could, if you wanted, also fit a little too snugly. So it doesn't fit the front pocket, it does fit the back. Um, and everything else fits. So 
there you go with the scoop. Now, let me put all this inside, close it up. Lots and lots of zippers. Double zipper there, single there, single there. So, got the scoop compared to the Ranger. Now, these both have top handles. Um, one is vertically oriented or north-south. One is east-west or horizontal. Um, overall, though, if we were to stack them side by side in their long direction, the Ranger is almost two inches wider and the scoop is about an inch taller in this direction. Depth-wise, they are very comparable, but again, you know, the width difference there. But depth-wise, they're very comparable. So overall, I still think the Ranger holds just a little bit more, and part of it is because of it's an open compartment versus as much segmentation as this one. But they're both very close and both great bags. So let's look at the Ranger a little more closely. This one is quite similar to the Can-Can in generic, you know, it's vertical, it has the front pocket, the U-shape on the front pocket. This one though does have a little bit of a built-in well. It has a clear ID and four additional card slots below it. And this pocket is, I believe, RFID. I thought they always had a tag in there. It doesn't, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and this is blue and black again. So we got that front one. And this one you have a dedicated phone pocket that is just the slip in with the magnet. So the phone fits perfectly right in there. It also is slightly wide. It might fit some of your small readers or small tablets, possibly. And then on the back, there's a zipper pocket. It's just a plain pocket, but it has two pin slots. And then your main compartment here, you have quite a large compartment. It's most of the bag. The front has its own space. The back has its own space but the middle is, it's all that main compartment. Inside there, well, we have a strap. You have a privacy pocket, big cargo pocket. On the opposite side, clear pocket and two cargo pockets beneath it. Wallet-wise, well, let's just look at envelopes. So clear view, or runway rather, runway fits perfectly inside there. Small one fits, you have dog hair, these things are like magnets. This one fits in both directions, can go in the cargo pocket like that if you want, so you can grab it or you can stack it in vertically as well. And there. That does um, just barely block the zipper to your privacy pocket, but that might not be a factor. So I like that you can grab and go, and I maybe would use this size. Um, in the small pocket on front, it actually fits in there as well, and it is almost perfect. I mean, that little hood zipper goes right over it, and you can, in fact, zip this pocket without squashing this clear view. So that's great. Um, this one obviously fits, and this one, ooh. If you squish it a little bit laterally, it does fit, but there's, a, see how it's a little bit kinked? So not quite as good of a fit, but if you put it inside the main compartment, it can stand up vertically in the cargo or in the main pocket. And let's look at these. The large roundabout fits perfectly right in that front pocket, and you still have a little bit of space above it, so it would fit there quite nicely. It fits here, fits in that cargo pocket as well. Let's see. Yep. Fits easily in there. And you can put it in the back pocket. You do have to maneuver it, and it's just slightly narrower, so it's a little bit kinked up in there. If you stack it vertically, vertically, it's too tall. So one thing I didn't check. Let's try this envelope in that back pocket. Did I try that? Oh yeah, it's too tall. Okay, wallet-wise, hmm. let's go with the smallest compartment here. We've got the tram, fits, laying down very nicely, and also fits standing up. If that fits, the smaller ones fit. Here's the tandem. Again, fits laying down actually very nicely, even with the strap on it, and vertically too tall. And it will not fit in the back compartment, but the tram does. 
So you maneuver it, you can put it in horizontally, or you can just leave it vertical, and that is barely, but it fits. Okay, and so the kick flip, sorry I skipped all the XL, but if the kick flip fits, the XL fits. Yep, standing up, no problem. It's too tall for the front pocket though. So that's kind of your options for the bags and how they each stack up with each other. It also is a look for Ronnie Bunny about um, the Ranger's capacity and that also, I didn't write down who else had requested that, but I'll put the name in the remarks, sorry about that. I do have it listed. Um, I think it was Sunshine Bags. So for both Ronnie Bunny and Sunshine Bags, there's your look at the Ranger and some comparative size bags. Up next, we'll look at the Can Can versus the Little Hipster. So a little bit of Vera and Love crossover. Hope you're doing well and enjoying today's massive flood of videos. All sorts of requests being fulfilled today. Take care. Washi washi. Bye for now.